Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. We are in the Fantasy Cup. This is a meta guide video. So the Fantasy Cup as well as the Open Ultra, no, the Open Master League, excuse me, begin tomorrow. So let me know which one you're playing in the comments down below. So when it comes to the Fantasy Cup, I'll tell you, you know, originally when I, I wasn't really paying attention, I thought this was going to be for the Ultra League because the original Fantasy Cup was for the Ultra League, but no, this one is for the Great League. So it's going to be a different meta, but same rules. I mean, Dragon types, Fairy types, and Steel types are going going to be eligible uh, any other type not going to be so um yeah we'll see what we got going on for us uh let me know which league you're going to be playing i think i already asked that but either way for me it's probably going to be fantasy cup uh, i do have some things for the master league but we'll see we'll see how i think the meta is but let's go ahead and dive right into it so for the s rank we have a couple steals we have reggie steel we have goliath stunfisk both of them top rank going to be really really strong i mean reggie steel is always a great safe swap even if they respond with like a lucario right or an s cavalier they still have the shield to flip switch so reggie steel could either take switch advantage or shield advantage great safe swap pokemon all in all just a great pokemon yeah, that's all I could say about it. It's just a beautiful Pokemon, right? Uh, Glowing Stunfisk is really strong as well. Could probably pick up a lot of shields. Uh, yeah, both of these Pokemon are going to be really good. If we're talking about fairies, we have a Zoomel, of course. That bulky mouse did get buffed this season. Um, so it do Bubble does a little bit more damage. But even if it didn't, it's still going to be really strong. Of course, Tapu Fini is the, the other fairy type on top. Both of those are going to be really strong, of course. Um... Yeah, I mean, nothing Nothing much to say. We all know Azu. We all know how strong they're going to be. We have a couple counter uses, Lucario and Escavalier. Both of those Pokemon uh, are going to be strong just because counter is so good. With Lucario, you could run, I mean, you definitely want counter, but you could run Power Punch or you could run, I think it has, it's close combat, isn't it? Uh, I think it is. Was it Dynamic Punch? No, I think it's close combat. You could run either of those fighting moves and then, of course, Shadow Ball. Uh, Lucario is really glassy, like extremely glassy so, so it can't really take hits well so keep that in mind but it, it's so powerful it has a sky high attack it's going to win cmp probably against most n not probably definitely against most things i don't know if there's anything that uh wins cmp over it in this meta maybe there is let me know but lucario is just such a good pokemon as is s cavalier right all these pokemon are going to be are going to be seen all over the place in the fantasy cup all the s rank but for the uh, a rank, we do have some interesting picks. We have uh, Excadrill. Uh, I don't think Excadrill will be, be seen as much as like Galarian Stunfisk or Reggie Steel, but it's still really good with the Mud Shot. I mean, it is it is really glassy, but it can get to the Drill Run or the Rock Slide really fast, doing super effective damage against a lot of Pokemon in this meta. So I do think uh, it does have play again. It's going to be able to pick up a shield from Lucario if Lucario you know, is on it. Uh, Lucario will be able to destroy es Escavalier, but at least Escavalier can, not Escavalier, um, Excadrill can at least pick up a shield by getting to that Drill Run. Just because it gets to Drill Run and Rock Slide in five Mud Shots, it gets to it really fast. Flygon is is another Pokemon with Scorching Sands. It received that, what was it, last season, I think? Uh, so Mud Shot, Scorching Sands gets to it pretty fast. I do think Flygon uh, does have some play, and I think I think we'll see it. I think we'll see it. Skarmory, of course, you know Steel Wing Skarmory. It did get that insane buff this season. No reason why it wouldn't be good this one. Turtonata! I was actually surprised to see that as well. But if you think about it, we have so many Steel types. Turtonata does have Incinerate, and Incinerate does do more damage this season. It did get a buff this season. So, yeah, I mean, the charge move is nothing great. I mean, it's Dragon Pulse and Overheat. So, I mean, they're, they're decent moves. Uh, they're going to nuke nuke Pokemon, especially that Overheat. But um, at the end of the day, it's really the Incinerate damage that you're going to be going for. And maybe pick up a shield with Dragon Pulse if you can. Um, Azu is going to be a good wall too with the Fairy types in general. Just because the Fairy Water type combination, they resist all the, the moves. So you have to be careful for that. Uh, because of that, I feel like Tertinated probably not the greatest safe swap in this meta. But uh, it's going to be a pretty good Pokemon just absolutely destroying uh, the steel type. Like, imagine how fast Escavalier is going to go down, right? Or Excadrill. Or Alolan Sandslash. Speaking of Alolan Sandslash, for the B rank, we do have that Sandslash. Uh, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it does have to avoid that Turtonator. Um, but we have some dragons like Haxorus, although it has to avoid Haxorus because it counted. But like, like Flygon, I'm uh, going to be doing super effective damage with the Drill Run against the steel types as well. I do think it has some decent play here. Haxorus. Counter, even though Breaking Swipe was nerfed, I still think this is going to be a strong Pokemon. Uh, super, super high attack. And then we have 
I like Fairy Wind, Mawile. You could go Fire Fang just because of all of the uh, Steel types, but I, I like Fairy Wind. It gets to the charge moves really fast. You don't want Power Up, not if you're running Fairy Wind, only if you're running Fire Fang. Other than that, go for Iron Head, Play Rough, and I, I, I think it could see some play. Uh, so, for the most part, you're going to be seeing the SA and B tier Pokemon, I believe, especially the S tier in this meta. It's going to be a kind of like a small meta, I'm, I'm telling you that right now. But uh, for the other options, not enough room for Spice Picks. Uh, the other options, we have uh, Fortress. Could uh, see some play, I guess. Very interesting Pokemon. Probably not a whole lot of play. It's going to lose to a lot of the top Pokemon. Um, we have Magnezone. Magnezone. The thing about Magnezone, yeah, it's going to do well against the Water Fairy types, obviously. And like the Flying types like Skarmory. But it has to watch out for the Steel type. It doesn't want to be hit with Earthquake from Galarian Stunfisk. It doesn't want to be on that matchup at all. It doesn't want to be on the counter matchups like Lucario and Escavalier. Excadrill, you get it. There's a lot of Pokemon that beat it. Bash you done, bash you done stuff, it's the same fate. Lucario, Escavalier, Registeel, Galarian Stunfisk. All the top Pokemon are going to do well against it. I mean, I guess it has played against Azu, but other than that, it's, it's going to pretty much struggle. So I don't think we'll see a lot of it. Uh, Togo Tomorrow. Uh, Gabite. Gabite actually could be pretty interesting. It has Mudshot and Dig. So keep that in mind. Mudshot and Dig. I think we might see like Shadow Gabite. Uh, in this meta. I actually might give it a try because, I mean, if it stays away from the fairy types, I mean, Mudshot and Dig, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Gets to it pretty fast, right? And then we have Ferrothorn. Pretty, pretty interesting Pokemon. It's going to suffer the same fate, not wanting to see, like, the Registeel, the County users, or anything like that. But it does want to see the Azu and the Tapu Fini. Uh, it doesn't want to see the Turtinator. So it will suffer, like, uh, because of that. And then we have a couple Dragons, Komo'o and Dragonite. Maybe, maybe, uh, probably not just because if you go up against a steel type, the fast attacks are resisted, the fairy, fairy's double resisting it. I think if we see a dragon type, it's going to be the Flygon or the Haxorus. Uh, and then we have Empoleon, we have a Berserker. Berserker could be pretty good actually, getting to the move, I mean Shadow Claw, getting to the move is pretty fast. So Berserker, maybe we'll see that. Wigglytuff, if you're looking for a Charm user. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess this could, could do okay, I mean... At the end of the day, it wants to avoid steel types, but if, if you can keep alignment, or if you if you could make it avoid steel types, I think it could be decent. And then we have Carbink. I don't think Carbink is going to be seen that often at all, to be honest, because of again the Reggie Steel, the Azu, the Stunfisk, the Lucario. It doesn't want to see any of these Pokemon. The Feeny, right? Um, but anyway, that's going to be the Fantasy Cup for you. Let's go ahead and move on to the solid team options. So for the first team, I built a double counter user team with Lucario and Escavalier. Um, I, I love those two. I use those two. I remember I hit Legend in the Sinnoh Cup with those those two Pokemon. Uh, I believe. Was it the Sinnoh Cup? Was it the Hisui Cup? Yeah, it's been a while ago. It was, it was a couple years ago. Um, but anyway, I, I think these two Pokemon can go well together. Double counter use is going to do well against all the Steel types, of course. Uh, and then, you know, you're going to struggle against... Obviously, you're going to struggle against Turtonator. That's why I have Azu on the lead. Um... So yeah, at the end of the day, I think that that could work out pretty well. I, I would say that the counter users, for the most part, are safe. I mean, e even if you go, like, you don't want to go up against an Azu, well, with an Escavalier or or Lucario, but Lucario at least has Shadow Ball for it. I think yeah, Azu. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the team could work pretty well. Um, Skarmory, don't really have to worry about that. I mean, the back line going to be doing neutral damage with counter. You're going to be resisting the Iron Head. I assume you're going to see mostly Iron Head. So I think this could be um, a pretty good team. The next team is going to be another double steel team, but with Registeel and Goliath Stunfisk. Those Pokemon hate counter, right? Uh, although Registeel is a great safe swap because I mentioned earlier it could flip a lot of matchups, like or force shields. Like Lucario will have to shield against the Registeel, for example. Uh, and then Feeny, of course, yeah, in the lead could do pretty well if it happens. Uh, you could lure out like one of those counter uses with Registeel, and then Feeny could do well. The next team is going to be Turtonator in the lead with Azu. I think Azu is another great safe swap because what are they going to respond with? I mean, I guess Registeel, but even then you still have... Well, if you're running Hydro Pump, you have play against Registeel. It's up to you if you want to run Hydro Pump. Um, Ice Beam and Play Rough, I think, probably the way to go. Um, and then Lucario in the back. I think that could be a pretty, pretty strong team. Um, essentially, I would say you stay in. Unless if you run into uh, like an, a fairy type, like an Azu or a Fiend. Like if you run into a fairy type, you have to leave in, into your own Azu. Um, but yeah, then the next team we have Excadrill. Could go with another Steel type instead of Excadrill, but double fairy. So Azu and Tapu Fini, I think those are the two best. Um, they are resisting counters, so if you run into the counter users, right? Really good stuff. Um, 
Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, those two could, could do really well. Of course, the lead Pokemon does not want to see the Turtonator, the Incinerate, but the back two are totally fine with it. So Turtonator should be able to handle that. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty strong team. Uh, yeah, just because they're resisting counter and, uh, yeah. Excadrill does not want to see that, right? So, uh, the next up, uh, the next thing we do have, we actually have Double Dragon with Flygon and Haxorus and Registeel in the lead. So, the dragons don't really want to see the fairy types. Uh, but, um, even then, like, like yeah, they don't want to see them. Like, like especially, like, the, like the Haxorus definitely doesn't. But the Flygon, like, at least the score, you're getting to Scorching Sands fast. It's going to be neutral to the Feeny uh, as well as uh, the Azu. And they need to get to a charge attack. To be able to do super effective damage towards the Flygon, so even if, like that's why I like Flygon as a safe spot because you'll lure out the Fairy type, and then that that matchup is not the worst in the world just because again they have to get to the charge attacks, um, and then, yeah, I mean Registeel, great Pokemon of course, um, and then next up we do have Skarmory in the lead with Turtonator and Azu. So again, Azu is going to be the safe swap on this team. Turtonator is not really a safe swap because it cannot be on those Fairy types. Uh, at least you don't want it to. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think of these teams. These are just early suggestions. Let me know what team you plan on running. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.